sounds like a cool. typical <clears throat> tragic Atlantic Canadian song. Yeah, I guess it's probably about being a fisherman, I guess. Oh, okay. I guess. Not, not being one displaced. Of the, one of the three jobs they had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah one of the two. Uh, yeah, that would be un Canadien avant. You ever heard that? No. It means a wandering Canadian, but it's, it's, that's another one Ian and Sylvia do. Huh? And I'll others. I'll check that out. Uh, that one's about... Oh, I think Leonard Cohen also did it. Hmm. It's about the expulsion of the Acadians and other groups. Right. Sad history. Yeah. I don't do that one yet. Any songs? Any cello songs? Uh, Leave the band. Uh, let's see, I got a very simple. It's in C, I believe. I wrote for my granddaughter. What genre? It is Appalachian. Oh. Because they live in Appalachia in North Carolina. Oh. Uh, it does have it does have words, but um, since I'm a baby singer, I don't have them in my head. But... It goes something like this. Make sure I'm in the right key. And it's called? Uh, it's called Luella's Lullaby.
played it uh, for the fade out. I liked it though. You guys are making that, uh, that 1918 uh, dinosaur there come to life. <laughs> Doesn't get played enough. The, uh, you probably all know this, this uh, the story of Orville Gibson, local hero here. Mm, local hero. Yeah. Well, a little bit. Yeah. I mean, he, uh, he was a genius, but uh, he ended, sadly, buried in Malone at the Morningside Cemetery. Mm. Right. He pretty Knew much that. lost his company, even though he was a... Uh, a luthier genius. Um, he he wasn't a great businessman. So, but yeah, he he kind of uh, was taken over by some businessmen. But uh, thank thank goodness the Gibson factory in Kalamazoo kept going. Mm. But yeah, 